There we go. Right. Hello and welcome. <laughs> welcome to anyone joining us uh, on the webcam. You're uh, you're listening to and watching uh, Comic Relief on North Norfolk Digital. Um, coming up, we have a very special guest, Sir Roderick David Stewart. Rod Stewart, to you and I. Um, but uh, first thing, to, we're asking you to tell us about the most charitable thing and the least charitable thing you've ever done. So a bit of a twist. A bit of a twist there, soupy twist. Now, Grant in Briston says his most charitable act was taking in a family of Ukrainians for a year. And least charitable? Surfing them out. <laughs> He's got red. Um, Marvellous. Um, Actually, a friend of mine did that for a, a family of uh, Ukrainians. Still, still friends with them. They still wash his cars. Um, Marvellous. <clears throat> Robert from uh, Pensworth uh, says his most charitable act was a sponsored head shave to raise money for a cancer charity. Well done, uh, 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 Robert. Uh, but it was also his least charitable. It was the same thing because it wasn't his head. It was his wife's. <laughs> <laughs> and when she woke up, it, she was none too pleased, I'm sure, Robert. He shaved the missus. The, her head. Uh, it, lots going on today. Brian Hunstanton tells us about a sponsored silence. I like this one. Um, uh, he says he's uh, set up a Just Giving page uh, aiming to raise 10 grand if you 2 frontman Bono will agree not to speak publicly for 10 years. I think the appeal went live uh, about an hour ago. Yes, and, and the current total, Alan, is yeah. £356,000. Right. Uh, leaving Bono with a straight choice. Cough up or button it. Or ignore it. Um, coming up soon, a Rod Stewart, a musical icon who's had hits spanning five decades. And I believe you have got some very funny material about Rod Stewart. I do indeed, yes. Which, I... um, which I've been dying to hear. So, um, Sir Rod, as you know, he's married to the lovely Penny Lancaster. Oh, yes. And she is a special constable. Mm -hmm. And I thought if she caught Rod speeding in his red Ferrari... Oh, yeah. <laughs> she'd say, I, I don't like the way that... <laughs> she'd say, um, anything you say will be taken down and used against you. And Rod could say trousers, because they're married. I'm sorry, Simon, not to take away from your very funny comment. But we're going to have to sacrifice your humour, uh, because we've just received some very uh, saddening news, just breaking. Tibby, lovely Tibby, who many of you will have known as the much-loved station... Cat, originally owned by our very own Barbara Bickerton, uh, until she didn't want it anymore, and who has gone on to become something of a mascot for the station and has been taken to the hearts of listeners, young and old, has very sadly passed away. Uh, do you want to carry on doing the sexy constable material or leave it? Leave it. Do, 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 do it. Do it, do it. I'll recap. Uh, so, uh, Rod Stewart in a car been arrested by Special Constable uh, uh, Penny Lancaster, says anything you say will be written down and used as evidence against you. He says trousers, she writes down trousers. Well, not written down, taken down. But... To the station? Mm, no, taken down, as in taken down, like, trousers. Oh, so, uh, taken down. Ah, I see, take down trousers. OK, right, so that's the end of that bit. That's the end of the bit, yeah. OK, right, and they're all, all, they're all like that? Yep. OK, OK. Um, uh, so, um... What's your favourite Rod Stewart song? My favourite Rod Stewart song would have to be uh, Do You Think I'm Sexy? Ooh, nice. Why? It just got me through a very difficult period in my life. Um, Although he wouldn't get away with singing Do You Think I'm Sexy these days. I, I, don't, I disagree. I disagree. I think, no, yes, because I think it has two crucial qualifications. A request contingent on two very heavy caveats. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, then and only then, sugar, uh, let me know. Um, you know, it has to be both. If you do not think I'm uh, sexy, but you do want my body, possible, perhaps for medical research. Uh, likewise, uh, if you d d do think I'm sexy, but you do not want my body, perhaps you just want uh, Rod's uh, gravelly uh, voice down the phone, mm -hmm. and what she does with that from there on is up to her. Um, I've always wanted to ask Rod about uh, his famous rasping voice. Ah, yes. Uh, I sometimes worry, you know, if um, if he were to perhaps to uh, accidentally go <clears throat> and, 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 and issue a very productive cough and uh, he cleared his throat, would it end his career? Sounds a bit silly, but... No, but it happened to Alan Jones. The other way around, but it happened to Alan. It did, Angelic Chorister. Um, but he once had a coughing fit so protracted that when he came out the other side, his voice had broken. Mm -hmm. Midway through a concert. We're walking in the air. We're flying through the moonlit sky. Um, you know, sad, really, but uh, but not as sad as uh, losing Tibby, the station tabby. This 
is The Lion Sleeps Tonight. So by Kevin Carter, big fan of hers. Oh, absolutely lovely. Definitely one to watch. Yes, someone sadly you will not be watching, I'm afraid to have to inform you, is Sir Rod Stewart. Uh, who has decided he won't be joining us. Uh, he arrived a short time ago, but then, in a flash, he'd gone. Lightning Rod. Uh, yeah, very good. You know, it's annoying because I thought Rod and I were friends. Um, we shared a slim plank of mini burgers at Wimbledon in uh, 2016 with Lewis Hamilton. Uh, I, I, I don't think they'd ever seen anyone like Lewis at Wimbledon before. Um, I mean, a racing driver. Uh, so, you know, I thought Rod was someone I could call a friend. Um, but clearly... That's gone down the toilet. Dino Rod. Yeah, again, you know, pretty, not as, but, you know, quite good. So keep sending in your memories of Tibby on Twitter using the hashtag CatLivesMatter, Alan Steisel. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, team effort. No, it's just you. Uh, we have a picture of Tibby, uh, which I can uh, display throughout the show. Um, but for the benefit of, benefit of listeners uh, who are, are not watching uh, on the webcam, uh, Simon, do you want to briefly describe him? Yep, uh, it's grey. I mean, it's a smooth grey cat. Yeah. Um, right. Already tributes are pouring in for Tibby. Uh, Craig Wynn Stanley, the controller of North Norfolk Digital, has said he was a gentle and affectionate cat mm. who will be missed by all. And in the last few minutes, the part-time broadcaster Simon Denton has described Tibby as grey. He went on to say, it is a smooth grey cat. Tibby, who died today. Mm. And uh, Cindy texts to ask, what did Tibby die of? Cindy, I'm afraid, Tibby, was involved in a hit-and-run accident. Ouch. Um, um, and I've just got a note in here about it. Bystanders have said he appeared to be struck by a car. Some are saying it was a red sports car, possibly a Ferrari, driven by what appeared to be an old dinner lady. That doesn't sound right. I don't think it's... Oh, God. I think that's... I mean, that's, that's clearly... That's Rod Stewart. An old dinner lady, though. Well, I mean, through a tinted window at a distance, I wouldn't be able to call it. Right. Poor fella, he's probably been so, so upset by it. I mean, uh, Rod, if you're listening, please, don't worry. It was, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's just a cat. Yeah. Nobody's angry. Just hand yourself in uh, to the nearest police station, uh, or you could just turn, turn yourself into your wife. Not literally. Ha, <laughs> yeah, although, you know, if you look like a dinner lady, you're Kind of halfway there, but uh, no, we, we should move on. We should indeed, yes. And, of course, Richard Curtis has a very strict rule that you can't announce any bad news during any Comet Relief broadcast. Does he? He does indeed. Well, let me tell you something, uh, Richard. If you're saying that I can't care more about that cat name... Tibby. ...than whatever Comic Relief is about, mm. then you and I are going to have to have words. Again. Again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why again? The other year with the expenses stuff. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't wind his neck in, would he? Now, um, just to say we've had a call from a listener, Erica, who lives not far from the radio station. She says she has found Tibby alive and well in her garden. Um, great. So what's in the bin bag? Um, OK, they're saying it was simply some luncheon meat and a tomato sandwich mashed up with a discarded hairpiece, all pressed into, I imagine, the Pirelli P0 low-profile tyre of the much-celebrated Italian supercar, last seen driven not by an elderly dinner lady, but by Sir Rod Stewart, who is now beyond suspicion. Right, and finally, we have just heard from Bono himself about the 10-year sponsored silence. He has said he is prepared to do it as long as the silence doesn't cover performances by his band U2. I'm really sorry, Bono. I'm afraid it does cover that as well. So here for one last time, Living on a Prayer by you 2 